channel. It's your boy, Mike and Justin. We are back at it again with another video. Now, I'm not so hyped. I don't know, it's New Year's. Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope 2024 is a great year for everybody. Now, I've made one, two, so many videos of me coming back. And it's been a thing of I'll do maybe two weeks of full commitment and I devote my time and then I get overwhelmed. And for the sake of January, let's not head too far into the future. For the sake of this month, I'll be uploading every single day. That is right. Are you wondering? Tristan, you just said about consistency now, so like, what's going to happen? Are you just going to drop out halfway through the month? And to be honest with you, I might. I won't, because at the time of recording this, um, it's currently a few days before New Year's, but I wanted to get the video out and edit it so that you guys can see it on the first. And yeah, let's just say there's a few videos already edited and done. Uh, I'm still recording a few, but I've got all the ideas written down and scheduled out and planned and filming days and all of that. So hopefully relieve the pressure and all of that. Now to get into the part that explains this journey, this year. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, it hasn't been a good year for me. Um, we all do that thing every year. Nah, I'm going to kill 2023, whatever, whatever, I'm going to kill this year. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't. Um, I went in the year positive. Um, I had a lot of partying in the beginning of January. But things went south. And I'd say they went south about February. Right about there. So to give you a bit of context, I had my first real job in 2023. I was an MC. I went in the company for the sake of like client privilege. I don't know. For the sake of not no, you guys knowing the company. Um, a few of you might know them because there's one person who watches this who was my co-host. So I was an MC. Let's just leave it there. I was an MC. And I won't lie. We had to speak to a lot of people. And I, I was hella nervous. And I met an amazing friend. Who kind of like guided me. Because he's been an MC before. So he guided me. Taught me all the tricks and tips. And all, all of that. And this friend knows who he is. I have a video coming out with him in January but yeah it's been amazing um it honestly January started our okay we did our training we did a lot of things like training and how to do the MCing and like the program and whatever and you know we're doing the shows and it was going it was going consistent I was getting better come about February and we move to a different location within South Africa, within Khartoum, we move to a different location to do shows closer to that side. And it's hard, I wrote a script for all of this and now I'm struggling to say it guys, but there was a lot of internal conflict, not within the team that was working, that I was with, that I was staying with and what I was doing the shows with. It was more of the administration and the bosses, if that makes sense. Like line managers, essentially. Line managers and administration gave us hell. And some of the clients we were working with as well gave us hell. And it was more of the fact that the administration and our line managers and stuff spoke about trust. And then when it came time to do it, they didn't trust us. They didn't 
have our backs when we were cornered, when we were pressured by clients. They, they didn't back us. So we spoke to a member in our team who is also a very good friend of mine, even now. But we'll get into the positives. Let's just talk about the negatives, I would say, of 2023. So we spoke to him after all of this happened, and he's been there before, and it said it's happened multiple times. So we've got the full story of how this this company or this business works. It's cool. Keep our head down, we work. I think our contracts were only until July or June or May or something around about there, around about that time. So we fly through March, April, we get given a break. They, they like tell us it's company, we're on holiday or whatever. Like, they gave us a holiday essentially, which I guess is nice, but we we're kind of working if we didn't do a show, we didn't get paid. So like a holiday is nice, but we didn't get money. So we threw through March, we did shows here and there in April, and then May came along. May came along. <laughs> no, I didn't just count my months in correct. May came along and things were tense. And I remember there was a particular show where we had an awful, awful client. And when I mean awful, I mean awful. We had an awful client. And then, sorry, I just want to fix my light actually quick. Sorry. Let me just turn this a bit down so I'm not so white and pale um, <coughs> it was awful an awful awful it was an awful place it was an awful client and basically to put it in a way the client was late so and we were only given a certain amount of allocation time to do a show so if you're late your show becomes shorter in a way that makes it like obviously your show will become shorter because we only give we only get paid for a certain amount of time we're only told to do a certain amount of time so cool we do the certain amount of time left obviously we cut our show short to save time and to get to other activities that we had to do so cool we do that and this client comes in screaming at us like borderline demoralizing and berating not only our sound guy, but the MCs. It was a horrible, horrible process. And the thing is, we warned our administration and our line manager that something might be coming. And we told them the situation that's happening. And they were like, yeah, 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 cool, whatever, whatever. And then, like, just leave them, whatever, la, la, la. And because we had to rush a show, we didn't do everything like how we would obviously not because there's not enough time to do it there's not we didn't even know if the client was coming that's how disorganized it was so anyway the client phones the company and our line managers and stuff and when i say it was abuse what we got threatening mental abuse I like I can handle a lot and I can express a lot of emotions but that day we found out like another client also did something that we thought was a friend so there was like betrayal in the mix now as well so there, there was that and to be honest with you it hurt and the thing was we had we had to like go back to the office every day obviously so we had time before we went back to the office and in that time it was i remember the car ride like there was i'd say about 10 minutes of talking and the rest was just silence and before we even started talking i remember we entered the car we packed up everything went to the car to go back to the office and i just lost it man i just broke down and to be honest, they put me in a place that I thought I had escaped. Um, for context, back in high school, I had quite a few breakdowns, panic attacks, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, this company put me right back there. And it 
wasn't a great place to be. It, it, it really wasn't a great place for me. And ever since then, I hadn't recovered. Um, so what I mean by that is the, the holding on, I thought by July, August, I was calm, I was good. And I was speaking to my co-host in, in like October or something. Bro, like, I don't, I don't know what to do, man. This, this has really got me like, like fucked up. Like, I don't, like, I'm, I'm hurting, and I don't know how to fix it. And he was like, he gave me a lot of good advice, and he was, he was there and supportive. But in other ways, of how 2023 was it great is. After this job, I kind of realized I wasn't very, like I saved a lot of my money, but I wasn't very like conscious and smart with the money moves I made. Um, it happens when you get a lot of large income of money, you just kind of, you know, you know, you can go around knowing you can afford things and you end up just affording things and helping out other people, going out with friends, doing all of that. And like it creates good times and good memories, but you're out of money <laughs> and I remember around about July like I'm sitting there I was like and I was earning a decent amount of money and I was sitting there and I was like fuck I, I, don't, I don't have money I didn't go study after I worked I was, you know, I was halfway through there like where was I going to study to be honest like <laughs> so I just want to lower this down a little bit I'm still just very but anyway, I felt stuck. And trust me when I say I wanted to come back to YouTube sooner, I really did. But I had I even wrote down a few ideas or whatever. And it just it I couldn't bring myself. Like I'd wake up, I'd eat, I'd play games, I'd go back to bed, and I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? Like I don't don't understand and it's just I felt in a place of trapped I felt very trapped like nothing was moving in my life and days were just going and it was like I was watching a simulation do the exact same thing every day but I was just watching the days and hours tick by I found myself scrolling mindlessly more on Instagram and I was doing a lot more like gaming and there's nothing wrong with gaming it's just the community has kind of changed a bit for gaming which has kind of ruined it for the casual player because for gaming now you have to be a pro you have to be a legend you have to be a world-class player to honestly enjoy the game and we can all play the game and we can all be like yeah I'm having a bit of fun I'm playing with the gents and I do I love playing with Rain I love playing with other friends as well the problem is I felt like that was the only thing I'm doing and I tried going out you know I went out I was drinking I was clubbing I was doing everything and with the little money I was making here and there by freelancing and I was still like that's still not giving me joy so what the hell am I doing and there was a great video I will link it down below for you guys by common YouTuber who's a very good friend of mine called Tucky the Human. Now Tucky the Human spoke in a video a lot about he has a lot of deep content but he also has a lot of fun. He's a funny ass guy. <laughs> but he also has a lot of deep content. And I was watching one of his videos and he was talking about reflecting and journaling. And I was like, hi, okay. I tried parting, I tried diving into work, I tried doing a whole bunch of things, but I'm not happy. And then, I just, uh, I picked up a pen, I was sitting at my desk, I think I was trying to do editing, I was, I was trying to dive into work, and I picked up a pen, I started writing, and when I was, like, writing and looking at the stuff that I was, you know, writing about, 
I was like, I had that moment of realization when I reflected that I wasn't over the traumas that this job gave me in the beginning of the year. And quite frankly, I'm still not over it. They really, they messed me up. For example, of it was my first job. Like not necessarily my first job. I did camera work and catering and all kinds of other stuff before this job. But it was my first like contracted job. And see, I'm even crying now because I know what I was writing and stuff. And I wrote all of this down. And when I was writing it down, like I didn't feel instant relief, obviously. But I was looking at it and I was like, fuck, there's a lot of things I need to work on. I'm trying to find happiness and all these other things, but I can't find happiness when there's things tying down. And I realized the stress of trying to come back to YouTube. I feel like I couldn't come back to YouTube because I've done how many, uh, I've returned videos or all of that. So it's not fair on you guys for me to say I'm back and then I'm not back. And that was just, poor time management, poor motivation and everything and I also I, I wiped my tears and I was sitting there I messaged a couple of people um, that kind of were like also holding me down really and when I messaged them a few of them understood a few of them didn't and I'm not friends with some that is what it is. And then I wiped my tears and I looked after seeing all these messages. It's like, I looked back at the beginning of the year and I was like, I have changed. People always like, yo, just you changed. I have. Obviously, you now I'm down to school, I'm getting older. I'm growing as a person. And I looked and I was like, but all these things that I've written down that, you know, have negative effects that are bringing me down, that are hurtful, hurting inside I've also grown a lot and now we're going to get into the, the more positive things that I've got from this year I've added four new good friends into my life a sound engineer I worked with my co-host and two other clients who worked with I gained four new trustworthy good friends that I can confide in, that I can trust in. There was a special person I was talking to that I fucked things up with. I would lie to you. I was too pushy or whatever you want to go about it. And it kind of like ruined the friendship or relationship, whatever it was. And we didn't speak for time. I started speaking to her again and obviously it brought like confusing times I guess not confusing times just like it wasn't really going anywhere in terms of a romantic relationship and I had to take a step back and I was like why does it have to be a romantic relationship with this, this person this person I met last year and I realized it didn't so we just became friends and we spoke and uh, I think we're still friends. I, I don't really know much about that situation in terms of other, other parts of things. I can't obviously mention them for the sake of privacy but I hope they, they realize themselves. But I've become more confident in other parts of time. I've become more confident with in myself. I had a lot of self doubt at the beginning of the year. Um, I was say I betray myself as a confident person but it's more of like a it's an act essentially I was putting on a lot of act and when I got deep with myself I realized that fuck yeah, I'm, I'm not a confident person but I am now I've gained a lot more confidence I gained a lot more fashion sense in a way like obviously we all have personal hygiene shower every day brush our teeth all of that kind of stuff but like there's that and it's taken to another level you know skin routines dress wear uh mannerisms speech 
posture, all of those things have changed. Or I'm trying to consciously change them, if that makes sense. I'm trying to change my appearance. Because let's be honest, I mean, you saw me walking there, I'm wearing shorts and a button up t shirt. Like, there's no fashion sense there whatsoever. But, and I'm still trying to work, I still just go out with shorts and a t shirt. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just. There's occasions, you know, like I don't really like dress my best sometimes and I'm actively trying to change that so because people see how you dress firstly, they see how you look and how you dress and that creates a perspective for like a, like what kind of person you are so I've started changing that um, I started tending more to relationships more to my friendships more to my two close friends, Rain and obviously Caitlin. I don't think I've introduced Caitlin, but she's a very good friend of mine. And it was around my birthday, which everyone is sent me a birthday, which thank you very much. It's on the 18th of November, if any of you want to, you know, send more birthday wishes, you know, to my Instagram or whatever. <laughs> Shameless plugging. But I, I broke down in front of had a long deep ass talk all three of us and you know we we got closer and closer as friends and i'm grateful for having them and thank you to the other four new people i've met who've honestly took me in as a younger broken brother and try to teach me good things the way of life i mean my sound engineer is so like philosophical it was insane like Man was on some other like <laughs> em emotional awareness, and my co-host as well. Fuck, he's he was on some other emotional awareness as well. And I just want to say thank you to them for only being an amazing team and helping me get through that job. I think we all helped each other, but also just being there. I'm gonna expose my co-host was. Chucky is the human. It's the YouTube guy I watch that I said taught me how to look deep and reflect. And yeah, man's kind of been like an, an older brother. Also, speaking about brother, I connect closer to my actual biological brother. We grew a lot closer. He's obviously moved out of the house I'm staying in. And that, that in a way, also kind of hit me because. There was always that I could, my brother would be sleeping, I'd be like, yo bro, I'm grinding, I'd be like, yo, bro, I'm, I'm hurting, or there's a problem with a girl, and he'll, he'll tell me the same, he's like, yo, you're having this trouble or that trouble, or like, shit's going down, and <laughs> I know we haven't always been actively there for each other, like, brothers won't... I know if there's a crisis, he's there for me, and vice versa, but those last years has honestly been amazing. So, thanks, bro. Um, I know you will be watching this, so this is a personal message to you. Um, thank you for the parties you've taken to me with, with all your, his friends as well, which are very kind people and have taken me in nice, not nicely, they've just treated me well. And I've built friendships with some of them as well. So thank you to one of my brother's friends as well. But also, thank you to you, bro. You've been there a lot, especially this year. And I wouldn't know how to properly thank you other than saying I love you, bro. So without further ado, without any more sadness, <laughs> um, that's been a wrap of 2023 and obviously there's a lot more other stuff that I don't feel comfortable talking with because I've got to try to keep a level of privacy as well. There's a lot of stuff that I've spoken to Rain with, that I've spoken to Taki with, that I've spoken to the other friends I've made. There's a lot of stuff I've spoken to. There's a lot of stuff I've spoken to that special person I've been talking to for a while now. Um, but thank you to everyone who's helped me. Even 
hey, I'm at that point, thank you for the fucked up job I had to the company. You taught me a lot of valuable lessons about how cruel and mean people can be to you. So thank you for that. You've shown me. We're always told that the world is a cruel place. We're like, ah, it is what it is. We'll go into a job, do whatever. And we don't actually realize how bad it could be. So thank you to that job for explaining showed me how cruel people can actually be and I'm a lot more vigilant now and I, I used to try to be social and just make friends and now I'm more cautious of the friends I choose so without further ado thank you guys so much for watching it's been great it's been amazing I hope you've had a lovely 2020 for even though it's the first day I hope you had a lovely New Year's party I wish all of you many blessings and I hope you enjoy the next 29 days. I almost fucked up again. See, when I was writing my schedule, I didn't know how to do the accounting. Anyway, enjoy the next 30 days of Viking Twisted gaming and real life content. I hope you enjoy the new camera angle, the new lights, the backdrop. Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. It's been great, it's been amazing. And I'll see you the rest of January. Peace.